Hello everyone. We will continue the topic. In the previous video, we learned how to create radio buttons and we assigned those buttons to one group. We defined the group for those radio buttons. Now, what is our requirement? If user will select the first radio button and click on to submit, it will call our first application. If user will select the second radio button, it will call our second application. Similarly for third and fourth. And we all know whenever user will click on the submit button, process after input of 100 screen, this screen will call and there we will write the code. We'll see how to do. I will go to change mode. I will uncomment the PAI module of screen 100. I will double click. I will create this module. I'll go to new include. And here I will write the logic. And we will see how to write a code. We all know very, very well. We all know whenever we are selecting a radio button, that radio button will be true. Whenever you are selecting a radio button, the value of that radio button will be capital X, capital X. It means if first radio button is capital X, we will call first application. If first second radio button is capital X, we will call second application. Similarly for third and fourth. So whenever you will select a radio button, that radio button will be true and the value of that radio button will be capital X. Firstly, I will go to top of the program and we will define those four variables. If you remember, when we designed the layout, what the name you gave to the radio buttons, if I will go to the layout, what the name you gave to the radio buttons, R1, R2, R3, R4. So I will define these four variables. Data. R1 type C. Because we know radio button length is always one. R1, R2, R3, R4. I will go to hunter screen and here I will write the code. If first radio button is capital X, we will call first application. If second radio button is capital X, we will call second application. If third radio button capital X, we will call third application. If fourth radio button is capital X, we will call our fourth application. This is our requirement. Now the question comes, how you can call those four individual applications? It is very, very easy code and it's a new learning. If you remember for each and every individual application, we created a transaction code. So we will simply, simply call the application through the transaction codes. If I will go to first application, 
this is that transaction code for first application. So we'll simply write if first radio button is capital X, we will write leave to transaction our first application transaction. If second radio button capital X, we will simply simply leave to our second application transaction. If third radio button is capital X, will simply leave to our third application transaction code. And if fourth radio button is capital X, we will go to our fourth application transaction code. I will check the syntax and we will activate the program. And for the best understanding, I will put the breakpoint and I will show you the output one by one. I'll simply activate. This is inactive as of now. We'll go to display board and activate. Now we will put a breakpoint. I will run. I will click on to submit button and first radio button is ticked. PAI of 100 called. And you can see first radio button is capital X. All other are spaces because the first radio button is true. First, if condition is true, and it will call our first application. And you can see this is our first application which we designed. Similarly, I will go for running the program again. I'll check the second radio button and I will click on to submit. And you can see second radio button is capital x rest all r spaces it means second if condition is true and it will call your second application this is your subscreen program suppose if i will run the program again and select the third radio button submit you can see third radio button is capital X, rest all our spaces. This is our third model dialog box application. And if I will run the program again and choose the fourth radio button, you can see fourth radio button is capital X, all other are spaces and it is our fourth application that is tab string. So this is the way how you can call one application from another application also. You can simply write a logic, leave to transaction, the transaction code of the respective application. So in these two videos, we learned how to create radio buttons, how you can call one application from another application also. This part will continue in the next.